President Biden heading back to Pennsylvania today. He's heading to Philly, aiming to sell the critical battleground state on Bidenomics. The message he got uh, yesterday mm, wasn't received well. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Yep, uh, this is nearly half of the Keystone State voters say the economy is in not so good or poor shape. Polster and Ms. Lansky and Partners President Lee Carter joins us right now. Good morning to you, Lee. Good morning. Those, those crowds are a problem for him. They, they pop up wherever he goes. They're a big problem for him. And when you're talking about, we've seen the protesters on Palestine, but to see protesters on the economy, that's a big problem for Joe Biden. The economy is one of the top issues to, to voters. And in Pennsylvania, we know it's more important than in most states. And in fact, we've got a poll. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania voters say the strength of uh, the economy is not so good or poor. 60% say that. And then a Fox News poll, are you better off or worse financially today than you were four years ago. 22% say they were better off. I want to meet those people. But more than half say they're worse off. And that's a big problem for Joe, too. That is a big problem. And, it's, and it sort of lines up right away with a sentiment. You see 73% you know, of Americans say we're going in the wrong direction. A lot of people think uh, that Joe Biden is out of touch with their concerns. Um, and so what he's, he's got to get out there and try and say, I understand. I feel your pain. Um, and that's what he was trying to do. But I'm not sure that the message got out there yesterday. You know, and the other thing is, as we've looked at what what Joe Biden has said during the last three years, it's just been kind of a crazy message. Remember, it was uh, like two and a half years ago when they were saying, oh, inflation, that's just transitory. Just and then right. suddenly they turned it into Bidenomics is working. They've kind of abandoned both those things because they were wrong. Yeah. And they also tried to say that the economy has never been stronger. They talked about the fundamentals of the economy and how strong it was. Well, Americans are saying the economy is not strong. I'm feeling worse. My paycheck doesn't go as far as it used to. My paycheck isn't keeping pace with inflation. The cost of groceries, the cost of goods, all of this. You can't tell me that things are that have never been right. better. You also see Joe Biden go out there and he said the grocery shelves weren't empty, empty when the grocery shelves were empty. We also saw he didn't know what the price of milk cost when he was talking about things. So in many ways, he doesn't necessarily feel like he's connecting right. with the real concern of voters. Well, and then yesterday he told that crazy story about his uncle Ambrose apparently eaten by cannibals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably not true. Um, so here's the thing. On the other side, you've got Donald Trump, and I think a lot of uh, Democrats thought, okay, once he's on trial, we're going to really make hay. Joe's going to skyrocket in the polls. But at the same time, you know, Mr. Trump is able to capitalize on, and he's got his talking points about how everything is going against him, and people are buying it. People are absolutely buying it. About 72% of Americans believe that the system is rigged to favor the elite, not necessarily the wealthy, the elite. And Joe Biden is part of that. Democrats are seen as the elite. So you've got this really big issue right now where people believe that there's a two-tier system of justice. They believe that this is completely unfair, especially this trial that's happening right now in New York. They're seeing that President Trump can't go to his, his child's high school graduation. They think it's completely unfair. He's not able to campaign in the way that he says that he should be, although he is capturing a lot of the airwaves. Right. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's out in Pennsylvania trying to convince voters that he's got their backs, that he's got uh, the economy under control. But instead of talking about the economy and kitchen table issues that we're all concerned about, he's talking about tax cuts. Right. Tax cuts aren't going to help people when they're talking about the price of right. milk. So you've got him talking about the Tax Fairness Act, and you've got Trump surrogates talking about making America right. affordable again. You can see who's in touch with the pain points of Americans right now. Exit question. One word answer. One name answer. If the election were held today, who would win? Donald Trump. All right. Lee Carter, thank you very much. Thanks so much for having me. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.